the centered pads are, I don't know what kind of pads are on these. So when I don't know what's going on with something, uh, I just service it. So I it says five millimeter. And we're just gonna remove this adjuster. And this is gonna allow us to kind of push the unit just far enough back as you saw to get the pads to slip off of and that's going to be our back pad like so and then we will put our front pad on this stuff is mostly used in uh well high horsepower high street bike applications we're just going to apply a little bit of it and you do not want this to touch the brake uh, pads. Okay, so we're back again. I'm trying to finish up this, uh, this project here. I at least need the front end of this quad together because I came in here and I don't know what's going on with the middle stand. Maybe I've had too much weight on it for too long, but the whole quad is starting to go like this. So uh, I at least need the front tires on there and then boom, we're gonna start working on the back. But before we get to the reassembly of the, uh, front, the whole front hub and tightening of all the bolts, shocks, and A-arms, um, I'm gonna walk you through real quick. I did purchase um, some Amazon uh, calipers. I'll put the link below for the ones that I bought. And just so you know, because of the power of this quad these are the same calipers that they use on the big large utv polaris razors on this quad um this brand it's an off brand it's called i don't know if it's may may whatever um the quality looks pretty good the reason i went ahead and bought these were i think they were only 40 dollars for the pair and second off the ones that were on there look like they've never been serviced. There, there was nothing wrong with them. They did work, but they're so dirty for me to actually clean them up and uh, get them presentable with the all new front end. I've got to rebuild them and it costs more than $40 to rebuild them. So you know what? We're just going to put some good pads on here and I'll show you how to replace the pads while these are off of the quad. And then um, what I'm going to recommend is I've had good experience over the years with Caltrek. They're reasonably priced pads. These are centered pads. And um, we'll go ahead and put these on. And again, I'll put the links below for these pads. You know, they're, they're the centered pads are, I don't know what kind of pads are on these. So when I don't know what's going on with something, uh, I just service it. So I like the centered pads. They work real well on wet and dry conditions. So that's what we're going with. So we're gonna disassemble this new one and put these new pads on. Okay, when we're servicing these pads here, we have an adjuster here on the back end that doesn't allow the, uh, the pads to come all the way back. So what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this adjuster um, from the back end of the caliper. And it appears that it is, says five millimeter. And we're just gonna remove this adjuster and this is going to allow us to kind of push the unit just far enough back as you saw to get the pads to slip off of the unit itself and allow them to be removed. Ugh. May take a little bit of force here. God, I'm already sweating. It's 100 degrees out again. Might have to get my uh, my dish spreader tool. If I can just get one side of the pad. You might have a little bit of a problem if this is on the quad. There we go. Okay, so you just really want to slip one side and then come back and slip the other off, and we'll go get the other pads. They look pretty close to the same.
Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to reinstall the pads. Um, it's real simple. It's just like, oops, taking them off. We're just going to put them on the same way they come off. And that's going to be our back pad, like so. And then we will put our front pad on. There we go. Like so. Okay, after we have our new pads on, then we're going to go ahead and put our stopper in. And we're just going to tighten it all the way down. Ugh. Like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come back and I'm going to apply some Brembo lubricant onto the shafts here. This stuff is mostly used in uh, well, high horsepower, high street bike applications. Um, and what it'll do is this will actually quiet it down, but it'll actually lubricate the pads when they move on our, our rods, which sometimes if you get brake squeal and whatnot, it's caused by that. Um, maybe the pads are so tight that when they move or are applied, you'll get squeak out of it. So what you wanna do, it's just, it doesn't take much here. We're just gonna apply a little bit of it and you do not want this to touch the brake uh, pads. And then I'm just gonna apply this to the shaft. Probably should have got a Q-tip, but Kind of running out of time for work here again. If you get any excess on the unit, we'll just kind of wipe it off. Put a little bit extra on there. And what this stuff's gonna do is it's gonna allow the pads to move more freely on the rods, like so. And you can see that there's, there's no resistance whatsoever on the shaft now with it being lubricated. And the front one, we're, we're actually, once this front one gets pushed on, with the caliper, this one really won't move very much. It's a little tight on there. And once it gets pushed in the first time, it really won't move because we only have two pistons on the inside. So the inside pistons are gonna push toward the front here. Once this is set and this becomes a floating system, um, that front pad won't move. And we need to kind of get it straight on there. So if you're gonna replace your brakes, um, Maybe you have a brake problem. The rebuild kits are almost $25 to $40 a piece. Um, I'll go ahead and try this brand of brake calipers out, but I'm not, I'm not taking a caliper apart and then wondering if it's gonna work when I rebuild it and put it back together. So I think if you have dirty calipers or you have caliper problems, I think this is a really good option just to replace. And I already have put the other side on the the banjo bolt here um, it's the correct size everything should work uh, we'll just see how good the quality is after i bleed them so this is just a pre-install there'll be another video on bleeding uh the brakes once um the system is hooked up so the next video to go will be the uh we're going to install all the the steering knuckle um i've got to tighten the a-arms up i got to tighten the shock up and then we'll reinstall this 
onto the whole front end of the quad. So just check the playlist below. Keep watching. Stay tuned. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to uh, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, or check out that super thanks uh, button that I now have. Um, I got to try to get some more revenue started in. I, I'm saving you hundreds of dollars by showing you how to exactly how to do this. I can't believe the number of people that have watched some of my Polaris videos um, for the Polaris Sportsman's that I've done all the way to the Aprilas and people are so cheap they just come and take the information they don't leave a comment you know i get i get emailed all the time but i need your support now more than ever if you can uh give me a super thanks if i help you out that i'd much uh, greatly appreciate it i'm out of here